about to cook breakfast, but why, why is this man looking at me like this? Lover? Like that. Every time I walk around, about to cook something, that's what he looks like. Hello, amigos. I've not gotten on here. It is Monday. Yesterday, we had a pool party slash cookout gathering um, at our house for my husband's work. And it was, it started at 2 and it was supposed to end at 6, but um, I think the last person left at 10.30ish. A lot of fun, but I'm tired off and the kids decided to wake up at 6.30 today. Um, but they have been fed, they have been showered, they're in their rooms doing their thing and then I'm about to, I just worked out and I'm about to make breakfast for myself and one of my children was already asking for lunch. It was 9.50. I'm like, it's 9.50. You just ate breakfast. What do you mean you want lunch? Anywho, um, I'm going to eat breakfast and then I'm going to get to editing because I've got... That's what happens when you wake up at 6.30 in the morning. Also, I still look like this because I never got in the shower. I know I'm nasty, but I'm going to finish... I've already finished editing a video, so that one's already been up and posted. And then I'm going to take a shower a little, just a little bit, but we ate dinner. We ate leftovers from yesterday because we had the taco guy here for the work event that was here at the pool. And that segment on the synthetic turf was finally aired this morning. And so I'm going to include the link down below if you want to see it. But I'll also insert a little clip of me talking about way lower than getting an irrigation system put in and then having people come out and like mow your lawn all the time. Our grass is just not, it's not making it through the summers. As much as we want to water it and take care of it, I feel like this is the way to go. I mean, aesthetically, it looks beautiful and it's functional. We can be outside, the kids can be outside. We can have water activities on top of it and there's not mud everywhere. Now I'm trying to see why you enjoy it so much. You are fine citizens and you will get your call back. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, it's Tuesday and the boys are at UU's. I woke up with Alfredo because we have, you know, because we have Lover here. And um, we, I need to help get them out and stuff because you know, they don't get along. So it's like, we have to do this kind of maneuvering to get everybody out of, to go to the restroom. But anywho, um, they also delivered these. So I'm gonna open them and package um, one of the kids VR sets because other VR at grandma's house. But yeah, I, we actually had ordered some like two weeks ago or over a week. They kept saying like delayed, delayed, and then they just refunded my money. And so last night I just ordered some that said overnight because we need them for Mexico City. The kids want to take them and we have internet at the Mexico house now. They like break it up first and then they start to dig it. So this is what I wore today. This little H&M like crop top with my little linen pants. I already took some chicken out and feeding the boys but I cooked it in the air fryer and it's delicious. It's nice and juicy. I kept having a late night snack but I wanted to show you that I put these nails back on which I've done a whole video on. I was gonna get my nails done for our trip on Friday but I'm just I just took off my gel and then I put these back on and then I did my toes over here trying to save money look at me being good good morning amigas the turf people are here so it's very loud I apologize for that I am already ready for the day it is 9 40 but I haven't had my breakfast so I'm gonna have some coffee and something quick because I have to go run some errands to get some couple of miscellaneous things that we need for our trip and then I want to get a shirt for Alfredo because we have dinner plans tomorrow for our anniversary and I wanted to get him like a cute shirt or something I actually bought him I think I showed y'all I don't know if I showed y'all but I bought him shirts from Target the other day he finally tried them on and I got him an extra large because he's gone up a size and um the extra large fit him perfect he looks so good and so I wanted to get him another maybe a cute shirt from Target I filmed a TikTok like hack with gel 
base coat to be your adhesive and then you cure them under the blue light. I have that on my YouTube and it actually gets a lot of hits. I think a lot of people are trying it. And so I saw on another video that because of the last time I did this, they didn't last like three days. And so I was like, what am I doing wrong? And I don't know if it was the nails or what, but I put the same nails on. I did the gel base coat, but this time I painted a base coat and then cured them under the light. And I did another coat and then put the nail on and then cured them under. So the last time I didn't do like a base coat of it. So I don't know if this is going to stick more. I would like them to stick more. So hopefully they last through the weekend at least. Last time these lasted me a full two weeks. I had a couple casualties but I just put them back on and we were good to go. So anywho, now that I have my nails, I'll be talking more with my nails. So just get ready for all this. Um, I'm wearing this little crochet top that I got from Marshalls. Oh, it's open, you can see right through it, but I'm wearing a nude bra and you really can't see much. And then these little shorts that came from a set from Shein with like a little tie bandeau top through this persona and then my super cute express sandals. This little set was so cute, but the top was way too small. And this dress was so cute. I do not know why I didn't take it home. I picked up this shirt from Target for Alfredo because we have dinner tomorrow and it's actually outdoors. We're doing a, a gondola, like little gondola boat ride in Irving because I don't know if I ever told y'all, but I wanted to go to Italy this year for our anniversary because this year is 15 years of marriage. But then it happened, so he says, we're not going to Italy, but I'm bringing Italy to you. So we're doing that for dinner, so I wanted to find something really lightweight. This is a nice lightweight shirt, and it matches because I'm finally going to wear this dress from Shein. I mean, guys, if y'all do not have an air fryer, y'all need one. This is my, I made bacon in this the other day. It cooked so quickly, like in six, maybe 10 minutes. And I'm about to cook nuggets in here for the kids. And so I just want to tell y'all, if y'all don't have an air fryer, this is your sign to get an air fryer. it's Thursday it's my anniversary today we have been married 15 years so today is the day we're gonna do our little dinner gondola thing um, on tonight um, but the kids are still sleeping I worked out I woke up with like a swollen eye right here I was trying to use this little tool I have to get it to go down I've got a couple actually I've got a couple of like these metal tools right here so i've been doing this in hopes to get it down i don't know why it's swollen it's a little itchy so i don't know if it's like something i'm getting or what but anywho so the turf people are here and they are working on the turf it's gonna be i think done by today as far as like the synthetic grass part and then the lawn guy that we have are our yard guys coming out and planting a couple of things uh, because there has to be a division between there doesn't have to be but it, the uh, synthetic grass guys like you have to put some type of division between your all's lawns so it doesn't look so like harsh you know the lawn and then the dead grass and so um, which actually our neighbor waters the heck out of his grass so his grass is like kind of green mostly dead but in little patches so we talked to him yesterday and I, they had said to put, I could be saying this wrong, yucca, I'll put a picture of it here because it kind of grows kind of big and it makes like, it does like a, it creates, it creates like a, it'll create like a division or a wall between the two lawns. And so I was like, yeah, that's fine or whatever. But then when we talked to the lawn guy yesterday, he was like, yeah, or we could do 
I, I don't know what it's called, but it's like some kind of cactus looking thing. It's a plant that requires very low maintenance and um, that's gonna be on one end of the yard. But the other end, he had said, he had some mentioned uh, the yucca or something. <clears throat> and I said, well, what about pompous? If you've been here a while, then you know that I love pompous and I like to decorate with pompous. This is the one pompous I got from, from Etsy a while ago and the dogs have been getting into it. Like my pet sitting dog got into it. My dog's gotten into it now and it doesn't look so hot. So um, I need to buy a new one. I've been eyeing one that looks like, uh, like pompous but it's more like a feather and it's fake. It's not real so it doesn't shed. Anywho, pompous. I want some and I'm always like when I see it in the streets I'm like can I go cut some or like how does that work? Is it illegal? So I told him could we grow pompous there and he said yeah but it gets really big like it grows really large and you have to cut it like once a year and I'm like perfect because I want it as decor and so I can go cut it and then actually use it indoors and it wouldn't go to waste right? So anywho that's um that's to do with that. So if you've been around, you know that pompous is my jam and I wanted some, but it's expensive. Pompous is expensive and to get good quality, it's expensive. So anywho, now I'm gonna grow my own, which is amazing. So excited about that. So I wanted to share that with you.